Hello, you Wealth Revolution. I am Jared Hewitt, and I am coming to you today from my crystal cave. Uh, I am not coming to you from my office today because I was actually on a road trip and uh, spoke with Darius and had inspiration and decided, you know what, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to record a video. So um, I want to do a couple different things today. I want to, uh, coming off the heels of Valentine's Day, coming off of the heels of a, of a, a space where um, there is a lot of heart energy, but there's also a lot of wound energy. There's a lot of pain energy. There's a lot of seeking energy. Um, there's just a lot of energy. And so as we've moved through in January, those of you that joined Darius and I in November, we talked about the triple nine gateway in the November to remember, and we had a really good time bringing a lot of that energy in. And as that energy came in in January, that opened up a new place of seeking. It opened up a new place of asking. It opened up a place of integration. And it opened up a place within a lot of people where, um, it was almost like, okay, what's next? We, we came to a place where uh, there was suddenly, it's almost like there was a string of potential and possibilities. And then it, it's like if you take a string of pearls and you've got you know seven pearls and then number eight is missing. And you've got number nine, but number nine and number seven won't hook up. And so uh, what we're going to do today is move a little bit of that energy within the electromagnetic field um, so that you can not just hook up to your full strand of potential and possibility, but also really move you into alignment with all that is. Um, what I've been seeing a lot lately um, when I've been speaking with people in private is a space and a place where um, they are connecting in to themselves. They are, their chakras are open, their heart align. For those of you that don't know what the heart line is, that is the, the, the space and place where uh, we open up and, and we connect to source. Um, but they've, it's, they've been connecting almost to like, we'll call it the higher self. They've been connecting in, uh, in a way that is in normal stand, in normal uh, places and spaces, very expansive. Yet within this space, it's limiting because we've moved into a place of containing and enjoying, um, and being so much more of ourselves. And so what it's almost like having, um, the, the, the Taurus field where we have the self-sustaining field that goes like this and it continues to inflow, outflow, and it's surrounding us and it's feeding us at all times. Well, what we're doing is we're taking that and we're amplifying and we're magnifying. We're actually tuning in and tapping into an even broader field an even bigger field. And so, uh, that's one of the things that we're going to be doing today because well, because we can, <laughs> because that energy is very present right now. I want to very quickly touch on, I, I made some notes here. Um, one of the things I want to just talk about really quickly is creation and that creation is an expressive process. A lot of times um, with finance, uh, we're seeing it right now in America uh, with politics, but we actually see it across the globe. Uh, with what's going on with our global leaders, with um, the refugee crisis, with you know children going hungry, we we see it in so many different places. It's a space. Hello. It's a space in a place of. Um, it's a space in a place where we're not quite open to the idea and the aspect that there's enough, and we're not quite open to the aspect and the idea of there being a space and a place in which we can all come together in harmony and joy. There's still a little bit of that lack space where we're battling. And from that space, those of us that are sensitive, we tend to shut down. Um, we tend to go inside and we, we go into, this is what I want. This is what I, you know, we go into that, oh, we go into our, our inner sanctuary. And what we're being asked to do right now is express that inner sanctuary in the outer world. And one of the things that I'm, I'm uh, very, excited to be able to do is to help people tap into that, tune into that, and bring that out because in, in tuning into that, in bringing in and opening up, and so many times when we go in, we also, we go in basically to retreat and we're able to find our peace and find our solace, but we're not able to hold it in the outside world and suddenly everything in the outside world uh, feels like it's asteroids shooting right at us, whether it's, it's our health or whether it's a relationship or whether it's our career, our job. Um, all of those things are up for, for a lot of folks right now and um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about really quickly before we get into this activation is something that I'm very excited to uh, be working with, and I know Darius is, is going to be uh, joining me in doing some of this as well, is what I call Conscious Creation University. And it's something that um, I did last year as a pilot program, and I'm doing this year, and I've actually made it uh, even more material this year and made it a much smaller group. Um, because of how often I'm uh, doing things, working out in the field, working with, I've got a big frequency generator uh, behind me as I'm doing things like this. I don't have as much time to connect one-on-one -on -one, uh, in private sessions. And so that's why a lot of you uh, have experienced me in 21-day groups. And you know that the membership site, I'm usually on there for two or three hours and I get a bunch of questions. Matter of fact, uh, this morning for the CCU group, because I opened that early, uh, I was on for about two hours answering questions before I got in the car and left. And last night I was on as well. And so it's a really cool space where you get 
you get to really go deep. You get to not just have, you know, a call. We And we do. We have a call every week. It's once a week. I think we're three times a month for four months. But in the meantime, it comes out to every week because I'm actually going to be doing something that I don't normally do. I've only actually done it once. I'm going to be teaching how to do this work. I'm going to be showing you how I learned how to open myself. Now, uh, I was born with particular sort of... Uh, gift set and I don't even want to call it a gift because we all have that I was just a little more in tune with it yet it's kind of like um, just because you know how to play a guitar doesn't mean you know how to function in a band and doesn't mean you know how to do anything other than play solo and so what I had to do is I had to really learn um, what it was I was doing I had to learn how to open that up to even more so that I wasn't just limited to a guitar, that I had all of the string instruments at my disposal, so that I had all of the universe, that I had the whole entire orchestra to play with. And so one of the things that I'm going to be doing, you know, and this is only the second time I've ever done this ever, uh, is using my notes, using all of the tools that I use to open myself up, and I'm going to be sharing those, and I'm going to be teaching that. So we're going to be doing calls, um, 60 minutes, 90 minutes. I usually go a little bit long because I want to make sure I get to everything and we get full in the energy but you're also gonna get that private session with me. it's gonna be a half an hour um, where I'm gonna be doing I've got a lot of new uh, technology that I'm very excited about so I'm also going to be doing uh, I'm gonna be letting people choose their own frequency tracks I know a lot of you and I'm gonna play one here in a moment uh, to give you an idea of um, kind of the boost that you can get from that one of the things that I know a lot of you've experienced with Darius and I is when we did the uh, vibrational sound therapy program last year and uh, this year we're gonna have an announcement Darius and I uh, in just a couple weeks I'm very excited about uh, but I'm gonna hold off on that for now um, but one of the things that I'm going to do and that I have done is integrated a whole new process of how I do those tracks and uh, with the with the programs that we do, you know, you're you you get a list, you get a topic, and then underneath that is all the things that that covers. Well, one of the things that I want to do for Conscious Creation University is let you choose what you would like. You choose your own three topics, and then I will go in, look at your energy field, and see what is uh, I want to say the best, but what is the most well, what is the most expansive way? What is the most fulfilling way that can actually bring wholeness to your field in a whole new way? And so um, from that space and place. I'm also going to do a new symbol. Now, I know some of you did symbols uh, with me in November to remember. Because of the triple nine gateway, the energy has gone. As I was explaining, we're going to do the meditation in a moment to tap into that field. And so from that space and place, um, there have been some very new uh, energies. And my hands are actually lighting up, so you may already start to feel a little warm. I'm going to start kind of moving that, moving that out into the field, uh, doing a little bit of work as well, uh, directing that to start opening you up and amplifying and getting ready to receive that meditation. I just got very hot. Uh, I don't know if I'm sweating on camera or not. Um, uh, so anyway, uh, one of the things that I want to do is do new symbols. And these are, when I say, I talk about the fifth dimension, and I talk about how that is the space of the open heart. That's the ascended heart. It's not a separate space from, you know, third dimension. A lot of people think, oh, I'm going to, you know, move into this new space and place. And it is a new space and place, but it's you existing in a new space and place where there is so much more potential, so much more of what is the untapped self available, that time and space begins to bend, that synchronicity begins to abound, that you are feeling, uh, you're feeling your feelings, you're feeling the true you, not just the story of you, you're feeling so much more than that, you're feeling beyond the thoughts, you're feeling what you actually feel, and you're being able to express that because everything is open, and that's again this field that we're about to uh, create in our meditation what we're going to open up to because the field exists. Uh, so aside from uh, the private session where um, you're going to get a half an hour with me one-on-one -on -one and we're going to go deep and we're going to really, really knock it out. You've got daily access to me through the blogs. So you can ask me as many questions as you want. Any of you who have ever done a 21-day program uh, or have done CCU know that I answer every question. And so I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm going to do the choose your own. You get three tracks, three. Uh, and then um, along with that, there's going to be the new symbol. And I'm actually going to do uh, something else that I've not really ever done in this, in this way before. I'm actually going to interpret your symbol for you uh, in your MP3. So you, I will say, you know, okay, uh, look at the bottom left symbol. This, this is what that means now as we work our way up or look down here and as we work our way this way. We're going to be, uh, that was on camera, so that would have been the right. Uh, we have to flip it, uh, but we're going to be doing an interpretation, and I'm going to be telling you what your symbol means, as well as doing a light language activation for that symbol. So there's that goes really deep. Along with that, all of the 21 day programs that I did last year, all of the retreats were recorded. Uh, you're going to have access to that. Um, on top of that, 
there is Beyond Creation. You're going to have access to that. There are a ton of downloads. So if you click the link that Darius has included in with our, our meditation today, you'll be able to see everything that you get. Um, I, I myself, actually, when I was on this process 15, 20 years ago, uh, I took courses that had maybe maybe a fifth of the information that this course has and I paid I know one of them I paid almost eighteen thousand dollars for and so the course when we have a payment plan it comes out to the deposit of 350 which covers basically the private session and then a little bit more and then it's two hundred dollars a month and that's I've said I've joked before uh, it's a lot less than what I spent on therapy growing up uh, and it's a lot less than what a lot of us pay for um, well it's a lot <laughs> it's not a lot when you think about the stress when you think about the love, when you think about the community. So I just want to encourage everybody, if you're feeling drawn, if you feel like this might be it, um, I actually uh, dropped one of my TV shows. For those of you that don't know, I do a lot of TV work uh, behind cameras so that I could have time uh, to do this. So depending on how things go, this might be the last time that I'm available for privates. Uh, I always like to try to open up a schedule, but I think this is going to be, well, I know it's going to be, a very life-changing opportunity. Um, and it's very, 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 very affordable. And right now we're a very small group. Uh, there's about 120 of us, and um, we're just rocking it out, and we're enjoying it. And that's how many people are actually on there. There's a little bit more than that that have signed up that haven't quite. Uh, I think they're waiting until the March 1st date. March 1st is our official kickoff. Uh, we'll do a call that week, and we'll kind of get everything started, and, and everything will get explained. Um, but if you're ready, and if you'd like, the membership site's already open. You get all the downloads. I've already delivered several uh, tracks. Oh, the other thing that I'm doing I, there's there's a lot in the package. If you if you click on the link, you can kind of see everything. Um, the other thing that I'm doing is if you send me your photo, I will actually do. I've got a couple different new uh, machines and technologies that I'm working with, and I will do a 10 point printout where I will look at your energy field and see what. Um, there's several different things that I will look at. Uh, I'll look at some Bach essences. I'll look at um, your etheric field. I will look at uh, the emotional field. Uh, we go emotional, chemical, cosmic, etheric. Um, I, there's, there's, there's 10 different spaces and places that I will look, and I will pull different frequencies and actually make you a track and tell you what's in that track, and you'll get that as well. And it will bring uh, harmony and wholeness. That's the intent of that. So <clears throat> as I clear my throat, uh, we are now ready to <clears throat> take a joyful uh, move into creation. Um, so just take a deep breath. There we go. And we're just going to anchor in all of the energies that are flowing. I know um, some of you listened to a call I recently did where I talked about a beautiful white portal of crystal and energy. And that beautiful white portal of crystal and energy is pure source. And that's what we're going to connect up to today. And that's when I do the energy work. That's another thing that is part of the, uh, uh, the CCU program is the daily work. When I do the daily work, it's always about opening up you to the wider, the wider, the wider, the wider, and then the widest version of who you truly are. Opening you up to not just, you know, clearing out, we'll clear the throat chakra so you can express, and we'll clear the heart chakra so that you can feel, and we'll clear the power center, and we'll clear down to in the navel area for what you're uh, being nourished by, and we'll clear down in the root chakra so that you're able to create, and all the way down into the body. But it's not just about that, because it's also about being able to embody and be the space it's as above, so below. As we go into ourself, we also go out into creating all that we are. And so that's where this field comes in. But during the daily work that I do, that's also going to be a part of CCU. Uh, I think it's 15. Sometimes I go 20 minutes a day. Sometimes I go a little bit more depending on uh, what it is I feel that you're needing in that moment. But it's always about bringing wholeness and always about bringing harmony and opening you up to being the experience of what we're going to move into, into today. So with that said, what I would like you to do is, one more time, we'll just take that deep breath. When you connect, we're going to connect out with sound. So just <sighs> opening your body, opening your throat, really connecting in deep. So from there, what I want you to do is direct your chakras to open and spin. Repaired, whatever the highest definition for you might be, that's where we're going to go with this. And what I mean by highest definition for you is it's the space and place in which your chakras are moving and they are moving in a space that is comfortable for you to bring in the light. However, as I say that word comfort, what just kind of lit up there was there are a few of you where comfort is limitation. So we're going to invoke the formula around removing any limitation. And really it's kind of like taking the training wheels off and taking sometimes uh, cars have governors on them that can go, they've got the really big engines and uh, 
they go really, really fast, but we can't go that fast on the road, so we put governors on them. And it, 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 slows, um, it slows you down. It, it's, it, it puts a limit on the speed at which you're able to go. And so some of us have those in our chakras, in our fields. And it's not just the seven chakras. It's not just uh, the, uh, you know, the outer chakra field. It is any space and place in us that births the light. And so what I want you to do is simply direct all of those spaces and places to open up. There you go. I'm just going to move that energy in. Directing you right now to bring in the beautiful amethyst energy. It's like kind of the violet flame, but it's a little bit more of a, a honey texture. It's got a, a substance to it. It's kind of gooey. I'm going to bring that in, allowing it to just swirl in, swirl in, all the way from the crown, all the way down into the brain, moving into the third eye, down through the ears, washing out any space and place in you that is keeping you from being able to hear, not just hear me, but hear source, hear the universe, hear Hear the messages that are pouring into you about love and abundance and possibility, allowing us to now go down through the throat, allowing you to clear out any space and place where you may have felt stuck, where you may have felt like you couldn't express who you are. And as we allow that energy to move on down into the thyroid, just allow it to begin to pour out. Just feel it moving through your body. Now, some of you feel kind of blocked, but it's not actually a block to this coming out. It's a block to down here. There's a block to expressing out because of the heart. So what I want to do is I want to bring in, it almost, it's like a white, I'm showing you like a white smoky quartz. So I know that's like white and smoky. Well, you can show, I've got one right here. This is what I just looked at. This is actually a smoky quartz, but it's, it's a, a little more clear than smoky. And so what, what we're going to do is we're going to take the energy of smoky liquid quartz we're going to liquefy it, and we're going to start to bring it down, 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 down. We're going to bring it right in through the thyroid. There we go. All the way into the heart, beginning to... There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Beginning to move that through. Mm. So now what we're going to do is we're also going to bring the emerald light in from the back. Those of you that can see energy, you might have just seen that. There was a big sphere of green energy. We're going to begin to bring that in through the back. Integrating that. What the green energy represents is the emerald truth of light. It's the emerald truth. It's the emerald emerald ray of truth and light. It is the energy of uh, pure truth. It is the energy of you being able to express who you are uh, and you being able to feel it. You, there we go. And I was just kind of talking until it integrated with some of you. So now as we move that energy through, there we go. Just bring it all the way through from the back to the front. Whew. Whew. Opening you up at every single level. Now allowing this energy we have moving right through here, allowing that gooey amethyst energy now to begin to drip down and merge. Ah, and it's like as soon as that first drip hits, it explodes out, clearing and cleansing. And we're going to bring in the gooey golden light, the honey gooey golden light. And we're just going to bring that down, let it just pour right in through your crown chakra, going all the way down, covering the brain, the inside, moving behind the eyes, all the way down through the ears, all the way through the sinuses, down through the throat all the way down through the thyroid. There we go. Mixing it. Oh, there we go. Mixing it at every single level. Now take this energy and move it down through your power center. Mixing and swirling at every single level, allowing you to be free, allowing you to release any old blocks, any old wounds, allowing you to feel what it feels like to truly be loved, to truly feel held by the universe, to truly be able to look at yourself and not need to have a want or a desire based in polarity. In other words, I, I, it's like I want freedom because I don't like feeling trapped or I want money because I don't like feeling in debt or I want love because I don't like feeling alone. This is the space where we release those polarities and we're simply able to create because we know that we are children of God, children of the universe, we are inspired, and we are loved. So allow this to move on down, all the way down, cleansing and clearing the solar plexus, which is that place in space of power, moving down into the navel. And when we get to the navel, we're going to bring in a little bit more of that pure white light source energy. We're going to bring it in through the back. For some of you, it's going to come down through the shoulders, and for others, it's going to go right in the mid-back. There's a few of you bringing it in through the sacrum, which is interesting. But it, However it comes in is, is good for you. Let that energy move through and flow. And as it begins to move through and flow, allow you to disconnect 
from anything that you may have been feeding on, any energy that may have been feeding on you, any space and place where you gave your sovereignty over and allowed something to attach, or a space where you attached to something else. Allow that attachment now to release and allow yourself to fill in at every single level with this beautiful white light, the emerald ray of truth, the beautiful amethyst gooey energy opening your heart up, opening your space up, opening you up to feeling love, and opening you up to being supported and fed by that love, and letting the golden light do its thing. Any space and place that needs to be transmuted or healed, allowing it to be transmuted and healed right now in this moment. Nice. Now we're going to move on down through the root chakra, allowing any spaces and places in you that say, I can't. I can't create. Creation is outside of me. Creation is for my higher self, or creation is for my guides, or creation is for the universe, or God. Allowing you to understand that you are unified, and allowing you to actually bring in the unification. So we're actually going to direct right now that within the electromagnetic field, which is our brain, our body, but how all of this light works together and how it communicates, how it comes in through the ethers and births into physical matter. We're going to now direct at every single level that the light of us knows, I am love, I am light, I am the love of my light, and I am the light of me. I am the light of my light birthing into this plane. We're directing our pituitary and pineal glands to begin to merge, sink, open up as this white light pours in at every single level. We're going to allow that to move in through the top. There we go. Opening all, there we go, that's opening all of this up here as we move on down. And we're going to let all of this energy flow through the legs, allowing you to stand in your truth. Allowing you to stand in who you are, stand in your power, stand in your passion. Moving all the way down to the feet. And once you get to the feet, open those little trap doors, allowing whew, everything to wash out. Whew. Letting it go all the way down. all the way down to the center of the crystalline fifth dimensional earth, which is the same space as the third dimensional, but it's a whole different dimension and place within that. There we go, opening you up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna begin to fill that crystalline space. And it's like a, a, it's like a ball, and as you put water on that ball, that ball starts to turn. And so from within that, we're gonna begin to turn and spin that ball. And as that ball spins, it builds momentum, it builds power, and that crystalline energy of the fifth dimension begins to spin, and it actually begins to spin so much that the energy also begins to come up. It begins to raise. So this energy that's flowing down in a huge way, this pure white light now that has opened up, that is coming all the way through your beingness, not just through your body, but literally through your beingness, that you are birthing at every single level. Whew. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Let this energy move all the way down through your body, through your being. Let this energy be the energy that feeds you, that sustains you. Let this energy be the energy of love, of joy, of peace, of wholeness. Let this energy be the joy of expression, the nost and the knowledge from the heart that I am that I am that I am the love of my light. Let this energy flow all the way down and plant its seed in the crystalline core of the fifth dimensional earth. And let that seed now begin to grow up. Let this energy begin to shoot up, coming all the way up through the feet, entering the physical being, birthing the light at every single level, and then allowing the body, allowing the etheric fields, allowing the auric fields, allowing all of the different chakras, allowing every single place in you to now hold this light to be this light and to birth this light, allowing it to move up through the legs. So I raise up out of my chair, up through the legs, up through the knees, connecting you to the universal. The knees represent the infinity point of creation. It's the masculine, the feminine, the child, what we think of as alien, the unmet self, the other, the universe, everything working in harmony, connecting up through the Milky Way which is the sort of connection point of the galaxy, allowing all of the energy of you to now come in and support you, letting this energy move all the way up through the knees, through the legs, so that you're standing firm in the creation of joy and love and peace all the way into that root chakra, beginning to spin in the joy of health and wealth and love and freedom. And you're doing it from a place not to replace the old, 
But because the old is gone, the polarity is gone, you're now creating something new. Create something new. Allow this energy to move up so that this newness, the excitement of that, the knowingness that you can do it, anything else in, in your electromagnetic field that may spark fear around newness or around a fresh start, we're going to invoke the formula and I'm going to bring a wave of gooey golden light as well as that violet flame out into the field. Really moving that energy. There we go. I'm also going to bring in a little bit of tourmaline because there's some of you that it's like newness ungrounds you. You don't know how to create on this planet. Uh, in order to create, you have to leave. So we're going to bring that in, and we're also going to bring in a little bit more of that earth energy, but we're going to bring in a little bit more of the 3D energy, which is simply, it's not a, a negative or a dirty or a lower vibration. The 3D is just simply uh, a little bit more of a dense space where, like this table, uh, it, this is a three-dimensional table. It is the space and place where the light is able to, you know, if we look at this table under a high enough microscope, we'll see through it. So what we're looking at is we're looking at the space and the place where this this table, be, the light be, forms the denseness that then becomes the table. And so what we're looking at is where the light forms the denseness that becomes us in the third dimension. Allow that. There we go. I've got to wait just one second while it clears for some of you because now it's in your stomach. So allowing you to digest, ingest, be fed by, be nourished by this energy. We're going to bring all of that up. Whew. Remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> so uh, bringing all of this up, we're going to go all the way, making, making sure we move through the navel allowing this energy to feed and sustain and nourish you as we move into the power center so that now your creation brings you power and power feels good as we move that power into the heart center. Power is simply, it's not asking because. It's not I want this because. It's I am this. I am this. I am love. I am health. I am joy. Coming from my own experience, it's changing the vibration of I want health because I'm dying, or I want health because I feel awful, or I want health because I'm so scared that I can't, literally can't move to what does freedom feel like? I can feel that. Even if it's one cell out of 10 billion cells, direct that one cell to multiply, and direct those two to multiply, and then direct those four to multiply, and so on and so on and so on. And as you focus on that, that begins to be the dominant vibration in your field. There we go. Allow that energy to move on up through the heart, cleansing and clearing, moving up through the thyroid, going all through our system, sparking the connection, allowing what we've been bringing in with that, that beautiful white energy all the way up here, allowing now that energy to move down and encompass and encase and be our entire energy field, our entire body. Woo! That's the hair on my arm stands up. So now... Whew. So from that space and place, we're going to keep, keep just keep flowing that energy, keep flowing that energy, allowing some of you are going to really feel it in your back right now. It's almost like an expanded version of universal kundalini energy, but instead of being at the base, it's at, it's about the mid back all the way up through back, like, <laughs> all the way up through back here, the base of the neck. So allow that energy to just continue to continue to move. That's you sparking up and it'll it'll continue to move and flow until you begin to really ignite at every level and connect at every level. And that's what's going on. It's kind of like starting a car right now. We've started a car that's not been driven and so we're going there. Vroom, there we go. Vroom, there we go. Moving that energy all the way up into the throat, allowing you to express it. Moving that energy out through the ears, allowing you to hear it and allowing you to be heard and to hear your own inner voice and to hear the universe and to hear your guidance, allowing you to move on up into this point of focus where we've created with the pituitary pineal, now merging those things together, creating almost a beautiful sacred pyramid within the center of your head, allowing that pyramid to shoot straight on out. And from that space, begin to pour out and down and then back up and out and down. So that's filling you up and it's also moving down and out and up. So you're beginning to fill in multidimensionally. We're swirling and filling at every single level. And we're also going to just let that energy flow all the way out so that it's not just one little tube flowing both ways, but it becomes a complete and total beingness of you. It encompasses all that you are. You're flowing in every single direction. Your energy is united multidimensionally in every single front. So take a deep breath. Just enter back into your body and your awareness. Excellent. Excellent. This is you. This is your space. This is your being. Allow this to 
whoop, hiccup, I'm moving a lot. We're gonna, I'm gonna bring in a little bit of, a little bit more of that emerald energy, and then I'm gonna bring in a little bit of what looks kind of like green calcite. And what they're telling me is this is simply to help anchor this energy into your physical body so that it's not something you have to go out there to receive or it's not something that you have to retreat in. It becomes the dominant vibration of your field. It's the space and place where struggle begins to wash out. Conflict and contradiction begins to wash out. There we go. So I'm going to leave you now. We're going to play a track. This, is, uh, this, this track is called I See Me, but it's spelled E-Y-E. -E. And the frequency underneath this track, well, there's, there's a few different things. The very first level of it is the language of light. For those of you that have never experienced the language of light, you're going to get a little bit of the energy. You're not going to hear the language, but you're going to hear, uh, well, you're going to feel through this track, through hearing this track, you're going to feel that energy because I've actually layered that into this track taken the volume down but kept the energy kept the presence and then the frequencies that are in there are all about you seeing yourself in this expanded way that we've just created and allowing you to maintain that within your field and within your environment so um, to my beautiful buddy Darius Berizande thank you my friend uh, to the beautiful you wealth community thank you all for sharing if you'd like to experience this energy every single day for the next four months uh, I encourage you to check out Conscious Creation University it is going to be unlike anything you have ever experienced. And when I say that, um, I mean it because just about every time Darius and I get together or just about any time uh, we do anything, it creates an experience unlike any other. And so uh, I want to say with, with that, I love you. Namaste. Have a beautiful week and enjoy this track. Lots of love.